Hey everyone, here with my girl Jen. What's up? And we are doing a little Kit Kat taste test right now, along with some of your questions from the Twitters. So some chocolate and some chit chat with <gasps> chit chat with some Kit Kat. <laughs> oh my god. Chit chat and Kit Kat. Kit Kat chit chat. Kit Kat chit chat. That's cute. That's so cute. I love it. Okay. So do you wanna start off with eating? A special Kit Kat or a yeah. question first? Yeah, uh, we'll do Kit Kats first. Which one You've do you You've been want? waiting to eat these Kit Kats for, I don't even know how long. Well, since Japan. Yeah, I haven't touched them. I haven't eaten one of these special Kit Kats from Japan that I got. They've been just sitting in my kitchen waiting to be consumed. So let's start off. Do you want to try the, the um, cheesecake one first? Oh yeah, sounds good. All right, cool. Look Ooh. how beautiful this packaging is. The Japanese know how to do it. Wow. All right, here so you go. Beautiful. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> have a break, have a Kit Kat. Oh. <laughs> okay, so starting off, it's a very nice milky white. Oh, yeah. I can't smell anything. Oh God. Here, here. Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is good. It kind of reminds me of some other kind of candy. It just very light strawberry scent. It's very fragrant. It definitely mm. just. Mmm. Oh my god. I feel like I could taste the strawberry coming mm -hmm. through. Strawberries okay. and cream for sure. Okay. Starting off with our first question from Irina at Ew, it's Irina. <laughs> Ask, what's the best thing about being best friends with each other? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, I feel like we just really support each other a lot all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I know if I ever have an issue, I can just call this one up and we really just talk it out. We really talk out things a yeah, lot. Yeah, we do, mm -hmm. we do. And it's not it's never in a place of like judgment or mm -hmm. anything. It's just like genuine care, mm -hmm. caring and understanding. And I mean, that's all I can really ask for. I think we're very complimentary as well. Like mm -hmm. we're similar, but we're very different. I think it's just about being honest too. Like I think when you're first being friends with somebody, you're kind of afraid to like be truly honest about things. But we're at a point in our friendship where we can both be super honest with each other and know it's not out of a place of like hurting each other. Mm -hmm. It's like out of a place of truth and just like wanting the best for each other. I agree. Oh, we'll try this one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this okay. one, I'm excited about this one. This is the sake flavor. Oh Kit yeah. Kat. Okay. Honestly, we chose a really bad day to film this because I'm really sick right now and mm. I can't actually taste anything. But I'm excited for the the another Kit Kat that we're about to taste, which is the Sabi one. And I'm oh, I sure. know. Maybe that one will open up your my sinuses, nasal passages. Yeah. yeah. Japanese okay. sake. This one, I'm a little. Is there alcohol in here? Mm, no, no. Are these for children? <laughs> Oh my god, I just got a whiff of sake. That's really? so Maybe crazy. We'll just split it. You guys okay, split yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah. just split it. Wow. Okay, here you go. Thank you. White again. <coughs> I don't actually smell anything though. <laughs> oh my god, this is a terrible, terrible time for you to do this taste test. I know. Oh, it really smells like sake, that sweet kind of uh yeah, floral scent. It's kind of like sour. Do you still do you taste the sourness? Is that just me? Yeah. Oh my god. It really does taste like sake, but in a really good way. Wow. You can't taste it. I you just it's just sour. like sour, and then I just a lot of cream, like mm -hmm. sa sour cream. Oh. <laughs> it's more fragrant than like you can. I think I well, I can smell it a lot better than I can taste the sake. It's like an essence of sake. It's damn maybe. good. Yeah. <laughs> essence. Essence. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Um, Zoolander quote? Like, water, water is the essence of moisture. Of moisture. <laughs> moisture is the essence of water. Right? Something, Something like, like that. that. I don't know. Do you want to read yeah. this one? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this one is from Araceli Gomez. Gomez. Hey, what does wild lavender mean, or what's the meaning behind it? By the way, you guys are the best. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You're the best. This is a good question. Mm -hmm. So it originated while we were in Oakland. Mm -hmm. We were at a show, and it was really, really it was loud. Like, it was like a random live band. Yeah, it was yeah. just a really random live band, and 
Jen, you asked me like, oh, what's the name of this band? And I said something to you, but you heard Wild Lavender and you were like, Wild, Wild Lavender? Lavender? And I was like, no, but that would be a tight name for a band. So it was kind of like <laughs> an inside joke. We're like, oh, our band's name is Wild, Wild Lavender. Lavender. I know. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll do keyboards and vocals. And, and like, I have no musical talent. So I was like, I still got to work on that. But <laughs> when we have we'll a band, figure it out. we'll call yeah. it Wild Lavender. So then it just became kind of like an inside joke kind of thing. And then that's where La Wild Lavender uh, came from. Yeah. Yeah. It was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next Kit Kat. Should we do the Hokkaido melon? There's a melon one in here. How do, Packaging's so cute. How do I open this one? Oh. Wow. 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 Okay, let's just share one. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, little green packaging. I think this is gonna taste like that melon gum that you have after <gasps> like Chinese restaurants. Or Sanrio candy. Sanrio candy. Oh. Do you but you know you know what the melon gum I'm talking about, right? Is that a Chinese restaurant or is it just like Asian restaurants in general? I don't know. I don't no. I never gotten melon gum really? from a Chinese restaurant. Maybe before. it's Korean. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can you smell anything? Mm. Whoa! Wow. I taste the melon in this mm. one. It's very potent. I don't really like melon, actually, but I like this. This is pretty good. Again, I think running theme is that they're all very fragrant. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. They yeah. all have like this nice. Well, you can't really smell it. But, but like, I, I feel it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's I not an, like a crazy artificial taste either. I feel mm -hmm. like it's more, like, but like Japanese, Asian candies in general have like a different kind of like fruit taste than mm -hmm. American, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's good though. Oh, good. That one is really good. We should rank our number one in like our least, our <gasps> favorite and least of the end, okay. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. <laughs> um, Ami, I hope I'm saying your name right. Ami NX underscore ass. First impressions of each other. Oh my god. Well, I thought I thought she did not like me. She she has like a very well. She's working. She has a very stern mm. face. Yeah. And so I just I, every, I I was like after I ordered whatever I needed from the. Well, okay. So for the people who don't know how we met, pretty much I was working at a bar in uh, Davis. I had already graduated at that point. Mm -hmm. So I was working at the bar full time and Jen would come in. She was a transfer student and she would come in, just get a drink, get some work done. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, you know, she would come up to the counter, get her beer and I would give it to her. Yeah. And I don't know why, well, it's just cause you know, when you're yeah, working at just, a restaurant, you're just like, like transaction nah, 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 really, you're just and doing it, it yeah. you know? But, and then yeah. I was like, I come around, I'd be like busting tables, like making small talk. I thought she was so cool. Cause <laughs> I feel like in Davis, I felt like I like lost some sense of like style a little bit in terms of like coming from the Bay because in Davis it's kind of hippie town and people don't really care what you wear. Mm, that's true. So they're more cash, but then this one would come in with freaking like unif boots on. Like Big red boots. Oh and, like, my God. And I'd be like, yeah, this chick is tight. So then <laughs> I always thought that she was sweet and nice and then you thought I didn't I, like No, you. I, well, I thought she was like <laughs> the cool girl. And I was like, oh, like, why would you want to be my friend, you know? At the time um, I had my head shaved too. Yeah, yeah. Like she was so, she was like that cool intimidating girl. You know, but I mean, little give me know. tips. No, <laughs> give me <laughs> tips, so we'll be friends. Um, yeah, but then I kind of I invited Jen to go to like a house show with me, and then we just became friends yeah. from that. The rest is history. <laughs> next, okay, next one. one. Okay. Oh wait, so we only we only have three left then. Oh wow. Let's do this one. That one. It is the rum raisin one. Wow. From Tokyo. What bizarre flavors? Yeah, I mean. I really, has anyone tried the Kit Kats that you bake in the oven? I was trying to find those online and I just could not find it. I was so sad. Yeah, that sounds so delicious. Do they, do you know if they have Kit Kat ice cream bars? I feel like they should make those. Dude, wait. Yeah, because they have Snickers ice cream bars, but they made Kit Kat Whoa, ones. Oh, that'd be so good with They're the so wafers. Long. Yeah, yeah. With the fluffy vanilla ice cream though. Okay, thank you. I feel like I'm already getting a sugar rush. Really? Are you feeling it? Oh, so it smells. So oh, weird. I can smell it from here. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Yeah, I don't either. Thank Cheers. Hmm. Definitely just tastes like raisins. Dried fruit kind of taste. This one just tastes like. It smells like rum, but it doesn't taste like rum at all. Or it smells alcoholic. 
but it doesn't taste it. Mm. I just taste the dried fruit mixed with the white, just not chocolate, it's just like, you know, Interesting. white candy, milk. Hmm. I have just no opinion on that one, to be honest. I actually think it's pleasant, but after three pieces of Kit Kats already, now I'm like kind of Kit Kat it out. We got two more though. Two more, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do, we got we got two more. Let's check out the questions again. This one's from Megan Nasty. <laughs> Megan Nasty. <laughs> Megan Nasty, oh yes! my god. That's, so a, that's a really good name. Good <laughs> what is one characteristic that makes the other person who they are? One from Jen about you and one from you about Jen. Love you guys. Huh. Huh. I have two. Okay. Can I do well, two for you? Sure. Okay. Jen is like the most creative I know, you are really freaking creative. Don't even look at me like that, you know you are. But like, she has, it's like that kind of creativity that like she's not even thinking about it. It naturally comes out of her body, which is super tight and I admire. <laughs> and also the most hardworking person Aww. that I know. Like seriously, you're the most hardworking freaking person I know in my life. So that combination, I'm gonna do this. That combination. <laughs> that marriage um, is obviously beautiful and amazing. And that's why I really admire you. Thank you. I'm about to like friend. tear up right now. This is so nice. The nicest thing anyone said about me. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take those characteristics. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, for you, I would definitely say, hands down, like you're just the most positive person I know. Literally oh. throw you in a room and you light it up. And oh. it's that's why we, we work great together when we're traveling together. Cause I mean, sometimes, I mean, my mood can get low. I'm like, kind of like a roller coaster. I know a lot of you guys think like, oh, how is Jen positive all the time? That's definitely not the case. I, I have my lulls and mm -hmm. Stephanie, and I think I just surround myself with really positive people mm -hmm. and you're just so uplifting and Aww. it's just, you know how to like, put a vibe in and I respect that. And it's just so fun to go out with you, work with you, <laughs> hang Thank out. You. All that stuff. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry too. <laughs> should we do the, okay. We'll, say, we'll do the wasabi for last. Wasabi last, okay, so we have this. Oh wait, or should we do the wasabi first know. and then wash it out? I think we should, the... let's just do the wasabi first. Okay. okay. Wow. Ugh. Dun, dun, dun! Wasabi! I can't smell it, I don't know what I know, right? smell the packaging. Me neither. Oh God, can you look at it? Ugh. Oh, these are green. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Smooth sailing for now. Wait. What? Ah. Where is it? I'm searching, I'm searching. I literally, there's no, it's just like a green. I really don't taste it. There's nothing spicy about this. It's not spicy, but I tasted the wasabi flavor, but it's not the wasabi spice. It's well, there. That was very anticlimactic. Yeah. It was good. It, it just tastes like a green tea Kit Kat, in my opinion. I taste, but you're sick, so you That's can't. That's true. It was very subtle. I had to go, I dug deep, you know, I explored the flavors and I found it, so. <laughs> it's, like, it's just not even spicy. It's not spicy at all, at all, no. This one is from Evie Fryer at A B C D V F. What would be one item you'd love to steal from each other's wardrobes? I have one. That's why I wanted oh, to answer shoot. this. Wow. It is your new Adidas furry camo jacket. Really? It looks so good. I wanted it's to borrow very it. Very comfortable. Do we grab for you right now? Oh yeah. Can I wear it for the video? Oh my god. I remember we were going out one night and I I was just wearing this like thin trench. And I came over to Stephanie's and she was like, yeah, take whatever coat you want. And I wanted to pick out this one, but then our friend Brandon, he was wearing a camo jacket too. And I was like, oh. And so I had to wear the other <laughs> one. What was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look how cute it is. Wow. It's this is from, very comfortable. This is from Japan too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look at the back. Adidas. <laughs> I got it. I would steal like your earrings and accessories. Because oh. I want to get into more like, I want to get some nice like big earrings, but for some reason the thought of putting more jewelry or buying jewelry is like kind of daunting to me. I think you just need to get storage for your jewelry. I know. And then, and then I you'll feel good. I freaking lost, I know it's somewhere in my house, but I lost 
like my favorite jewelry, like little travel bag, which had all the jewelry inside of it and I cannot find it. So that's, that's an issue right now for sure. But yeah, all of your, Jen knows how to accessorize. Not only would I steal the accessories, I would steal your talent for accessories. Oh, thank you. Final Kit Kat we have here apple. is the Shinshu apple. These apples look delicious. I know. How beautiful are these apples? Wow. Such pretty packaging. So pretty. Man. Look at these juicy so apples. So amazing. Okay. Okay. Dive right in. What? Oh, they're oh, they're brown. I thought it would be pink for wow, some. Wow, that's a it's the first chocolate. Wow, they smell really good. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, it's a bitter. Not bitter, but it's milk chocolate, so it's obviously more bitter than all these other ones we've had. But it has that milk chocolate plus apple flavor. It tastes like a chocolate covered cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're so right. Wow. The sick palette. Mm-hmm. On fleek. Mm -hmm. What was your least favorite Kit Kat, would you say? I would have to say the rum. Yeah, yeah same that one was dude. Weird. I don't like that one. It yeah, it was okay. I think all of them were good, but in comparison to each other. Or I don't know, even the wasabi. I would say actually wasabi because I was just disappointed it wasn't spicy. Yeah, if you're going to label something wasabi, like I want to taste the wasabi, yeah, you know? I want that burn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I actually vote for wasabi, but do you, you vote for rum raisin? Yeah, this one was just, uh, it kind of, maybe I just don't like rum either. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, what's your number one then? My number one is the cheesecake. Same! Same. Yeah, really? Oh my god! Wow. This one was this was delicious from what I could taste. Really good. Um, yeah, I would vote for this number one for sure too. You are the winner! Woo! Congratulations! <laughs> Alright everyone, that is our little Kit Kat chit chat. <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe! And you can join the sisterhood. Woo! Woo. No matter your gender identity or preferred pronoun, come join the family. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for Eating some Kit Kats with me, Graham. Yeah, thanks for feeding me. We're sorry you're sick. Hopefully this no, no. Uh, nurses your sickness a little bit. All right, love y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>